It is day two on my trip to Iceland. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce uh, the names of the places that I'm going, but I'm definitely going to um, uh, the Golden Circle. So doing a bit of a tour, uh, lots of geysers and volcanoes and, and ticking off the list of the Golden Circle. Uh, so I am traveling around need to stay warm and need to stay sturdy underfoot which is great uh, but also as you know uh, when I am doing my little kind of holiday trips I do like to pack lightly uh, I like to be sensible I like to make everything kind of work and mix and match together so you'll notice uh, the gilet this time this is the Mark Cain coat uh, I've just taken the sleeves out. So it is all poppered. They have the little zips there. Uh, to be honest, I might need the sleeves, um, uh, but it does give me that option. So if I wanted to, uh, we're hiring a car. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to, then I can pop the sleeves out um, uh, just to make it a little bit cooler. Uh, if I'm going in anywhere, then obviously that gives me that choice as well. So the coat really versatile, 599. Actually, I didn't mention on day one, but I'm hoping you can pick out that lovely dropped hem at the back, uh, really keeping me cosy, uh, warm, uh, and just beautifully shaped uh, as well at the back. Accessories, the scarves, we have uh, a number of different brands in the scarves, but this one is so beautiful. In fact, if I just take that off, you might be able to see it a little bit more. Uh, and again, really good. Um, I'm hoping this will keep me lovely and warm. Uh, it's a beautiful handle. This is one of the ombre scarves. It's a square scarf. In fact, if I take this off, you'll be able to see, look at that amazing print on that amazing colors and working really well with the wardrobe coordinating that i'm doing so it gives me the option i just had it around my shoulders you can do it that way around uh, as well uh, and uh, this one is 69 i think they vary from about 59 uh, upwards as well the piece underneath, or the two pieces underneath, is my lovely little wee cardigan here, uh, 109. It's a wool mix, it's such a cozy cardigan. This is gonna be great as well, just to kind of put on in the hotel, just sort of lounging and relaxing. Uh, so it just gives me that extra bit of warmth and with it having the wool in there, it's a wool and poly um, uh, blend. Um, uh, so uh, lovely and soft, but has that bit of warmth in as well. The shirt underneath, uh, we've seen quite a bit of satins uh, and this one, it has that lovely kind of luxury feel, but with the satin, it has that extra bit of weight to it. So it just gives that little bit more warmth uh, and uh, handle uh, and touch. I haven't led it, but I could have my little underpinning under there if I needed that extra layer. So I have got that option. Again, thinking about what I'm packing and those options uh, to take me through. Uh, this time I haven't, so I've just got it as the shirt, uh, the cardigan, the scarf, and then the, the coat or gilet, uh, depending on how I wear it. So I've got quite a lot of layers uh, to be able to work with. The wee um, uh, jeggings, so the Baxter jeggings in the velvet, keeping those on, I traveled in those. Uh, no reason why I can't wear them again um, uh, for doing my little trip around the golden circle. And again, the boots really come in handy because they are that sturdy underfoot. They're the sheepskin lining. So my little cardigan here, 109. I think the shirt is also 109 uh, that you've got. The trousers as before, 129, and the boots as before at 169. Day two, all complete.